Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare 204 here bringing you another Minecraft Forward 2K tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Stridewagon M42. The Stridewagon M42, often known by STRV M-42, is a Swedish medium tank in service in World War II period. Known by its manufacturer AB Landsverk as LIGO 234, it fueled a 75mm L-31 gun, the first of its size in the Swedish tank. It entered service with the Swedish Army in, in April of 1943. Modern in design, it was also well protected and mobile. A total of 282 were produced. As a neutral nation in World War II, Sweden did not engage in any combat, thus its tanks have no battlefield record. The uh, STRV M-42EH, which you can see in front of you, uh, stood out from the air variants as having a single Volvo 8AB engine and an Atlas diesel hydraulic gearbox. It was made in 1944 through 1945 and was the late, last version of the Stridewagon M-42. Um, so yeah, really interesting vehicle altogether. Uh, very weird vehicle. Um, its turret is kind of unorthodox for what was common at the time, wielding two coaxial machine guns in it. Um, it's definitely a cool looking tank, uh, but definitely a little tricky to build in Minecraft. I did have um, a little bit of trouble with the turret and Definitely one of the more trickier turrets I've done for a tank. Um, I do believe I, did, I had a tutorial out for this originally, so this is a redesign and revamp of that old previous design. And uh, this one definitely is a huge improvement. Um, going ahead and diving straight into it, uh, we have obviously the hull of the vehicle here. Nothing too fancy or complicated with it. Pretty standard. Um, got your tracks here, your uh, guiding wheels, your sprockets, all that stuff. Again, nothing too fancy for it overall. Um, Back here you have all your different vents and little details and all that bit of stuff. Main detail here coming into the turret. Now the turret was definitely weird. Um, the gun was centered but yet we had two machine guns that kind of popped off to the side. So this side almost stuck out further um, by a little bit than this side. And uh, the turret is completely asymmetrical um, in the front but then it is symmetrical in the back. So it's kind of a weird complex design to try to make flow properly. Um, I think it did come out pretty good though for what we're kind of limited to and you know how I was trying to go about building it. I think it did come out pretty good and hope you guys do enjoy it as well. Um, it is nice to do a Swedish tank. I mean even though they weren't really a major participant in World War II they definitely had some very unique designs that um, I definitely hope to do more of in the future. Anyways let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first set of layers, layers 0 and 1. Alright guys, we moved into our first set of layers, we have layers 0 for 1. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a nether brick slab, followed by another brick top slab coming off and going toward the front. After that's finished, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, green shulker box coming off of it to the side here, followed by a second one, and then a third one, and then we're going to place down two dark oak, or sorry, three dark oak buttons across those blocks, three item frames, and then we want to go ahead and place down um, cobwebs in those three item frames. Now, one thing you want to make sure certain of is that the shulker boxes have the top of them to the side here and not this design here. Uh, you definitely want the top here. It looks a lot better uh, for the wheels. So that's going to do it there. Uh, for that, we're going to go and then place down a, another brick block here in the ground. And then we're going to go and do the same thing we did with our shulker boxes. So row three here, like so. Three dark oak buttons, three item frames, and three cobwebs. And then we're just going to place down an brick slab and an brick top slab directly after that. And with that all complete there, we're going to go and then take our dark oak wood uh, slabs and we're going to place down a row of three coming off this narrow brick slab here. Toward the front, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off this middle dark oak wood top slab. And then coming off both sides of the fence gate, we want to go and grab ourselves a dark oak wood sign. So we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign here to both sides like so. After that's complete, we want to go ahead and then take our dark oak wood slabs and we're going to go back to this narrow brick slab right here and we're going to place down a row of three across as well. Now coming off those slabs here on the back, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate to both sides there. And in the space in between here, we're going to go and take our dark oak wood top slabs and we're just going to fill this in like so. And it's going to create a nice solid foundation here for the whole of the tank. With that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and copy the same design we did over on the left side, just over here to the right side. And this will basically create the uh, right side here of the tracks. And dark oak wood buttons on the side here, item frames, and our cobwebs. Again, real straightforward. If you 
uh, went a little too fast for you, just go ahead and refer to the error set. It's exactly the same on both sides there. Anyway, so that right there is going to wrap it up for layers 0 and 1. With that, let's move into layer number 2. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number 2. For layer 2, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down an stair on top of those two narrow top slabs. After that, we want to go and take our mossy cobblestone walls, and we're going to place down a row of four mossy cobblestone walls across in between those narrow brick stairs. From this point here, we're going to then place down a green sugar box behind these narrow brick stairs. Again, make sure that the top of the sugar box is facing out to the side. After that's all complete there, we're going to take our green terracotta and we're going to place down a row of three across in between those blocks. Now on the side here for the tracks, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five, and actually six narrow brick slabs back, or top slabs back, followed by another brick slab a dark oak wood slab, and then an air brick slab. And we're going to go and do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. A air brick slab, dark oak wood slab, and a nether brick slab. Now on the sides here, the tracks for detail, we're going to go ahead and go to the first worker box here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood button, item frame, and a green terracotta block in the item frame. We're going to go ahead and skip a space to our second nether brick top slab back. We're going to place down an item frame of a green terracotta block. Skip an airspace, item frame, green terracotta block, skip an airspace, and item frame with a green terracotta block. And we're also going to be placing down a dark liquid sign over the item frame, like so. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and go over to the air side here, and we're going to go ahead and repeat the same process. So just like what we did on the air side, we're just going to be doing it over here. And since we've already kind of went through it, I'm going to kind of go a little bit faster here for it. And if you need to, we're just refer to the air side and just like that on the side there. And then also on this dark oak wood slab here on both ends, we're gonna be going ahead and placing down an item frame with a cobweb in the item frame, like so. After that's done, we're gonna go and take our green terracotta, we're gonna place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven across the side here, and same thing over here, and then we can go and fill in the space in the middle here with a row of seven of green terracotta as well, just to close that area off. From this point here, uh, we can go ahead and then place down a green sugar box, on both sides there, and in the middle space we're going to place down a dark open fence gate opened up toward the vehicle like that. Then on the back here we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak top slabs across like that to go and finish that off. And once that's all complete that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number two. With that let's move into our next layer, layer number three. Moving on to our next layer we'll be moving on to layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here we're going to place down a green carpet on top of these two narrow brick stairs. From that, we want to go ahead and go back from it with a dark oak wood stair on both ends with a item frame coming off the back of the stair, and we want to go ahead and then place down a snowball in the item frame like so. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood trap door in the middle here, spruce wood trap door to both sides of that trap door, and then we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of dark oak wood slabs. From that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood trap door again to both sides, followed by a second trap door back on both sides in a row of three of green terracotta across. We're going to go ahead and place down a second row of three of green terracotta across, followed by a dark oak wood stair facing this direction on both sides. Going back from this dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down an additional stair, so this first stair turns into a corner stair, and across in between the dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta. To the sides here, we're going to place down one, two, and three dark oak wood ups down stairs with a row of three of dark oak wood signs on the front of the stairs. Going over to the other side, we're going to go ahead and repeat the same process again, so three stairs and three dark oak wood signs. And with that complete there, uh, we're going to go ahead and then go to this uh, row right here, and we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across. Our next row here, we're going to place down a green terracotta block in the middle, followed by a green shulker box to both sides there. And we want to go ahead and then place down a mossy cobblestone wall in the middle here, followed by a dark oak wood stair like this to both ends. After that, uh, we're going to place down an air green terracotta block on both sides, dark oak wood sign on the side of the block, and coming off the mossy cobblestone wall, and air mossy cobblestone wall, and a dark oak wood stair, again to both sides like that. Once that's finished, we're going to place down a row of three, or sorry, row of five of dark oak wood slabs across, and then a row of three on top of those top slabs. In the corner spaces, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a block here below this layer, and we're going to, go and to place down a zombie head at about a 45 degree angle there in the corners, and same thing over here as well. So just like that. And then we want to grab ourselves a item frame. So just a standard item frame and we're going to place it down on these dark oak wood slabs and then we're going to place down a red stained glass block in those item frames. 
And once you have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number uh, three for the build. Here's what it looks like from up above. And with that, let's go and move into our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a green uh, shulker box, which is going to be on top of this green terracotta block. Coming off of it, we're going to place down a dark oak with top slab coming off of it toward the front, followed by an item frame and a green terracotta block like that in the item frame. We then want to go to the sides here, we're going to place down dark oak with signs around the sides here of this dark oak with top slab. And then from that, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak with stairs, we're going to place down a upside down stair coming off the right side here of the shulker box, and then a dark oak with corner stair coming off that stair to the side. Over here on the other side, we're just going to be placing down one dark oak with upside down stair. After that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to the right side, and also a mossy cobblestone wall to the left side. We're going to place down another row of three green terracotta, followed by again a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. This section here, uh, another row of three of green terracotta going across, and then we want to go ahead and actually, actually, real quick, we're going to go ahead and do a row of two, and then a dark oak with upside stair over here to the left side. Over here to the right side, we're going to be placing down a zombie head like that. When that's done there, uh, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab, cut off the middle green terracotta block, and then we're going to place down a zombie head on both sides of this dark oak wood top slab. With that complete, we're going to go and then grab our green carpet, and on top of the uh, dark oak wood stairs, wherever we can, we're going to place down green carpet like that, just to keep a nice more consistent green color from up above. And when that's all done, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number four for the build. With that, we're going to move into our final layers, which are going to consist of layers five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to put the uh, rest of the turret on, the top of the turret, and the um, antenna and all that stuff. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. All right, guys, moving into our last final layers, we have layers five through nine. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and go to the top of the shulker box. We're going to place down a shulker box like this on its side with the front of the shulker box facing forward. Coming off of it, we're going to place down one, two, and three dark oak wood slabs like so. And on top of these dark oak wood upstairs, we're going to place down three dark oak wood slabs as well. We then want to place down three end rods coming off those slabs just like that. After that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab over here to the left side. And then we want to take our green terracotta and we're going to place down a row of three across. Um, once that's done, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall over here to the right side, and over here on the left side, we're going to place down a zombie head at a very slight angle, so just like that. After that's done, we're going to place down a another row of three of green terracotta across, and this is going to be followed up by placing down a uh, spruce wood plank actually over here on this side. So we're going to have a row of two of green terracotta, a spruce wood plank to the side here, and then a surefire hook come up the side of that spruce wood plank. From uh, this point here also on the right side we're going to have a mossy cobblestone wall. We then want to take our green terracotta and we're going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block in the middle, one to the right side and then a zombie head and then over here to the left side we're just going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall. Uh, on the back here uh, we're going to place down a spruce wood plank in the middle followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to uh, both sides of that spruce wood plank. Coming off the mossy cobblestone wall here to the right, we're going to place down a skeleton school. And coming off the mossy cobblestone wall to what will be the left side here, we're going to place down a end rod. We then also want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood button on the spruce wood plank. And then to both sides, coming off these mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to be placing down a green shulker box. Now coming off the shulker box itself, we're going to be placing down a dark oak wood button like this. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves item frames and also we want to go ahead and grab ourselves cobwebs. And we're going to place down an item frame with a cobweb in it on both sides. Like so. Um, after that's finished there, uh, for the top of the turret, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood trapdoor on top of this shulker box. And then going back from it, we're going to go ahead and place down a daylight detector, a dark oak wood slab, and then we're going to place down a zombie head here at about a 45 degree angle down our center line of our turret, and a green carpet on top of this spruce wood slab like that. Over here, coming off the dark oak wood slab, we're going to be placing down a uh, spruce wood slab, so let me go and grab one real quick. So a spruce wood slab like so, and then a daylight detector directly behind it. 
Now come off the spruce wood slab toward the front. We want to go and grab ourselves a uh, uh, black bed and, and an item frame and also a spruce wood sign. We're going to place down an item frame, a black bed in the item frame, turn to the side, and a spruce wood sign like that for the uh, viewport up here. And then we're also going to place down a zombie head on this mossy cobblestone wall here to the right side. Over on the left side, the only thing we need to do, pretty straightforward, is just place down a green carpet on top of that spruce wood plank. And with that out of the way, the uh, last thing for us to do is to go ahead and make our antenna by placing down one, two, three, and four iron bars up on top of this zombie head on the back here for the radio antenna. And with that all complete, that is going to wrap up my tutorial for the Stridesvagen M-42EH. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do want to use this design, I do I say guys give me proper credit for it. This thing can be anything from a silent build, tweet to my channel, or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. As always, guys, give me proper credit for it. your free or favorite projects you guys are working on. Overall, have fun with the build and all that fun stuff. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204, and I'll see you guys next time.